Hello guys, welcome to Manager 14, Becoming Legend. Last time you joined us, we lost to Kilmarnock 1-0 on a abysmal loss. Um, and that really was a crucial game, it shaped our season. Now we're dogging it out in the mid-table. Uh, but we do have a few games in hand, um, now they're going to be very important. But, to start off, after the game of Kilmarnock, we went to Motherwell. Um, if we lost this, morale well, would have been in an absolute dump. So it's important that we won. won. Uh, and we did Orlando Blackson yet again p popping up to score two goals. He's growing again. He's getting so good. He, I think he's better than Hodzic. I've only seen a little bit of him because he's been injured and he's been on international duty so much. But I think he is and he's going to be a great player in this game. He's definitely one to keep an eye on. Uh, leave that in the comments though. Who do you think is going to be better? Orlando Blackson? Is he going to outperform Hodzic? I really don't know. But then we went to the Euro Cup to play Ajax, um, a game we really played well, I thought we deserved something out of this game, um, we had more possession, we um, had more shots on target, uh, but they, they won and it was unfortunate, I was really upset about that, uh, it was in the last minute, I barely got a lucky goal, uh, and then Fisher scored because we went all out attack, um, but 2-0 loss at, to Ajax really isn't that bad considering that Miles, Miles better now. Their best player at the moment, Lucas Romero, 21 years of age. If, you, if you've got football manager, look at this boy because he's a beast. Um, quality, quality player. But yeah, I thought it was, good, it, was in, it was good to see us performing so well. But then we went to Morton in the Cup, um, playing a sort of reserve team. By Tiki yet again stepping up and Alex Kitchen really developing well. He's on my fourth choice centre back at the moment. Um, I want to push him because Pascasio was worse than this um, before I started playing him and he's grown into a quality player. So hopefully Alex Kitchen can do the same. Um, that'd be a great partnership, Alex Kitchen and Pascasio. They played well in this game against Morton. Hopefully K Kitchen can step up because Pascasio really is coming into his own. 19 years age of age and he's already first team standards. Baitiki as well scoring plenty of goals, but he's he's considering his options. So hopefully I can keep him at the club. But wow, he looks like an absolutely quality player. And people are now starting to hype about him in real life. So you know, check him out. Tell me if he's a good player in real life. I I've had a little bit of a look. I think he looks quite decent actually. But what do you guys reckon? If any of you know about him, let me know. And then we went to Rangers, and this was a frustrating game. We lost 5-2 here, and it really shows Rangers spent three years out of the league, have come back four years later, and then they're better than us. After all our work I did last season, David Goodwillie popped up and scores five goals against us. You know, it was gut-wrenching, it was a horrible game to watch, and at this point I've sort of decided there's not really much more I can do with St Johnston. Um, so I'm probably not going to do another season with Phil Johnson. Um, I've received a few offers um, after this game and around this game. I, I had an interview with QPR. Um, I didn't really want to go back to the MPL Championship though. Um, I struggled there. I did a dog. I had a torrid time with Blackpool. Um, so I don't, don't really want to go back there. But there are some clubs in for me. I'm not sure if... Yeah, it would have to be a good club to... Um, Sign me up, but I'm definitely thinking I won't sign on at the end of the season. My contract runs out. I think this is going to be my last season, whether I complete the entire season at St Johnston or not. It depends what clubs come in. Because um, I don't really think there's much more I can do. Uh, it's a shame as it is. I don't really see what more I can do. I can't really take much more part of this because the finances are so poor. Yeah, Europe might bring in some more money, but I'm not going to get past the group stage anytime soon because we're not good enough. Um, that's where the real money comes in after the group stage. Yeah, it's a shame. Hopefully we'll step up. Um, then we go to play Ajax. Uh, and we lost 3-0 again. Um, a game I felt we also could have won. Um, we played again really well against them as well. 47% possession. Of course, we were away from home. We weren't as dominant as we were last time. Gave away so many fouls. But it was an own goal and two penalties, which uh what they scored. Um, so, you know, it's always unlucky when you're scoring own goals and penalties. Not really proper goals, in my opinions. But... We were sloppy enough to give them away. It was the fullbacks that gave them away. Had a torrid, torrid game. Yeah, a bit of a shame. Looking at us in the Euro Cup now, we're fourth. But we've got the two other teams to play. So hopefully if we can beat these last two teams, we'll qualify. But it does depend on results elsewhere. 
Um, hoping Ajax will thrash them too as well. But we'll see. Um, so there is a chance of us progressing. Uh, although it is pretty slim. But yeah, going back to what I was saying. Yeah, I was thinking about resigning. I just don't think there's much more I can do. I don't think I can take this club much further. I can't think I can win the league with St Johnston. Um, unless I stay here for a good good couple of seasons. Um, but yeah, this this series is about improving me as a manager. It's about becoming a quality manager, not making a certain team a quality team. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see where we are at the end of the season. If any clouds come into them, I am going to think about them. Um, preferably, I want to go to Spain, Italy, or Germany. Um, don't really want to stay in the UK. I want to go international, um, improve my in continental reputation, and uh, see where it takes us. Then we went to play Rangers after the game against Ajax. Sorry about that. Um, away from home after losing 5-2. Wasn't really looking forward to this game. Hoping, hoping we wouldn't get absolutely dogs again. Uh, and we've done well defensively. Poor attacking Lee. That sums it up really. Um, we, we held it to a 0-0 draw which was good enough for me. And then we went to Aberdeen and we turned our form around again. And that's what's been so important. We don't get caught up in bad form. We have a couple of bad games and it doesn't really affect us because the morale is so high and the dress the spirit in the dressing room is so good and this was a good game. Um so Johnson versus Aberdeen, it was an important game. If we had lost it, we would have been in poor morale again. But like I said, the morale is so high. Losing a couple of games doesn't really you know affect us. We don't stumble. Um we, we we slip up a bit, but then we fix it. We, we we play well, and as you can see there, Hewitt started that play there, and Hewitt's really coming into his own. I'll show you um, his attributes, because he's developing quickly, and he's becoming, he's, he's pushing Kikoretti for a first-team place. So I think Joe McKee might struggle for a first-team place if Kikoretti and uh, Hewitt start playing well. But as you can see, Blackson scoring again, getting the first goal, a little tap-in. He gets in the right positions. Hodzic's positioning wasn't that great, but his finishing was... Blackson, he makes them runs. He's a bit more of a poacher than Hodzic. Hodzic was a bit more of a target man. And um, Blackson really can just get in behind those stri the defenders and really find that space. As you can see, Hewitt again finds Maguire on the right-hand side. Um, Maguire's struggling to get in up front um, because <laughs> of Zagoni and Maguire. Um, so we play, uh, Zagoni and Blackson. So we played Maguire on the right-hand side and it worked out because he got a quality cross into Blackson's head to make it 2-0. Looking comfortable at this stage. Blackman booted it upfield. Um, not a very good goal kick. Finds Watson who just plays a great long ball to Samuel. Blackson had an, Blackman there. <laughs> had an absolute mare. Uh, and gifted Aberdeen a goal. I'm not sure about Blackman. He's a quality keeper. He seems to be better than Westwood in my opinion. Um, but he's not as consistent as Westwood. Westwood's a lot more reliable. You know he's not going to make mistakes. But as you can see by Tiki there. Smashed one in. To uh, make it 3-1. And that puts our sixth place in the league with two two games in hand. One one on a few teams. Yeah, two games in hand really, isn't it? Um, if we win both of them, we'll go up to third place, which I'll be more than happy with. Um, let me show you some of the players, how they're developing quickly. Where are the players I want to show you? Stephen Hewitt's the first one. Really starting to develop. He reminds me a bit of Scott Parker. The uh, English Scott Parker. I'm hoping he'll develop into a player like that. Um, sort of a boxer, box midfielder, really. Like he's very good defensively. This boy. He's great at tackling. His defence attributes are great. Uh, mental attributes to his age as well. Are very good. So hopefully he'll be a good deep line playmaker. That's the role I sort of want him to play. And then uh, Jamal Blackman, the keeper. I, I really like his attributes. He's a really decent keeper, but he just makes too many mistakes. But I think that's his age. Um, I'll take it. I'll give him time to integrate into the team. I'll slowly introduce him. Um, and as Westwood gets older, Black Blackman will as well. And hopefully Blackman can get that first team place. And I also made one signing because McGowan wants to leave. Um, the bloody bastard handed in trying to request, and he said he wanted to go. So you know, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna chase him, especially as I don't think I'm gonna stay here long term. I'll let him go. And I've got this guy in for. A replacement. Not sure if he'll be good enough, but it's a risk. I think he'll be all right. We've got Pascasio and um, the older guy. I can't remember his name. So hopefully he'll step up. Um, and yeah, that's it for today's episode.
Bye.